All right, it's six o'clock. We're going to call to order our meeting of the Granite Falls School Board for November 3rd, 2021. Uh, we invite you all to please stand and join us at the Pledge of Allegiance. Thank you. Uh, tonight with us, we have uh, Director Green, Director Penegas, Director Beach, myself, as well as Dr. Middleton, our superintendent. Um, I make a motion to be excused Director Carey, who is traveling at the moment. We have a motion and a second. All in favor? Aye. 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 And any opposed? Thank you. All right, moving on first to recognition and communications, item 2A, Principal Appreciation Month. I have here a proclamation from the state of Washington. Whereas the Washington State, no, sorry, whereas the Washington Senate has declared the month of October 2021 as National Principal Month in accordance in coordinating, sorry, this is kind of blurry, in coordination with the efforts of the National Association of Elementary School Principals and the National Association of Secondary School Principals, working with the U.S. Congress to designate National Principal Month, the resolution thereof, and whereas principals and assistant principals play a significant role in our education system by creating hope for each and every student in their building, by leading culture, systems, and learning, and by working tirelessly each day as visionaries, assessment experts, community builders, public relation experts, budget analysts, facility managers, special programs administrators, and guardians of various legal, contractual, and policy mandates and initiatives, and whereas principals and assistant principals work uh, collaboratively with families, teachers, and district officials to develop mission statements, set performance goals, and objectives for schools to achieve educational excellence, and maintain high curriculum standards and expectations for all students. And whereas the Association of Washington School Principals honors such exemplary principals and assistant principals who have succeeded in providing high quality learning opportunities for students, as well as the exemplary contributions to the profession. And whereas to honor and recognize the contributions of all school principals and assistant principals to the success of each and every student in Washington schools, our most valuable resource, and to encourage residents of Washington to observe Principals Month with the appropriate ceremonies and activities to promote awareness of the importance of school leadership and ensuring that every child has access to high quality education. Now, therefore, I, Jay Inslee, Governor of the State of Washington, do hereby proclaim October 2021 as Principals Month in Washington and encourage all people in our state to join me in this special observance. Signed this 27th day of September 2021, Jay Inslee, uh, Governor. So, I'll turn it over to Dr. Middleton. This is National Appreciation Month for our principals. So it's just ended in October. But seeing that we were doing success ahead tonight, it was just a good time to combine the two events. We've been waiting for this uh, meeting on our principals, and I'm going to introduce our local principals at this time. First, from Mount Way, this is well. Ms. Sirsky, please come up and join me. From Mount Elementary. This is Wendy, this right. And I'll, I need to, I should share with you that uh, uh, this row and this right are on Zoom right now. They didn't be with us this evening, but they did want to zoom in and watch our ceremony, uh, watch our, our students and staff and wrap it up. From Grand Falls Middle School, this is Amy. From Grand Falls High School, Mr. Nyson, Mr. Hayback. And from Crossroads High School, Mr. Ben. All of our principals were successful teachers in the class of before becoming school leaders. They joined the school administration 
not only did we such a difference in the classroom, but they realized they made a big impact on the school as school leaders. Their days are long, often dealing with late night or early morning issues regarding weather, substitutes, buildings, with either phone calls or emails or texts. And that's just for me, for my own from the community. And those are just um, once they ride in their buildings, then they're on. They're on for the rest of the day. And really, they don't get a break until the last bus leaves and the staff departs. And oftentimes, that's the only quiet time during the day they have. And during that time, they're calling up on emails or making phone calls to you. The day doesn't end many nights because or at, at that point, because a lot of times there are school events or just events at each night. So their days are truly very long. If you have any dealings with our current administrator, building administrators, you were likely greeted with a smile and a lot of respect. Our principals are leaders and problem solvers, but they are people first who might create a positive relationship with students and families and staff. I appreciate our principals every day, especially this strong of, of group of administrators that we have this year. But tonight, I just want to express on behalf of the school board and our community to you, our leaders, thank you. So please put a round of applause for our principals. So it's uh we are. All right, that'll work. Um, so it's my pleasure to uh do the uh, next part of our uh announcement. As many of you know, uh, election was held yesterday. Um, we both have not been certified, but we do know for a fact we are going to get two new board members on the board because we have two uh, board members who are retired. In essence. Um, and I would like to take this time to honor each of them. First, I want to honor uh, Director Green, who might come up here real quick. Now, uh, Dave Green and I have known each other for, for many, many years. Um, quick, fun anecdote. First time I met Dave Green officially, I was in my front yard doing some work. He drove up and he was hot. You remember that? Uh, officially, but yeah, yeah. He, he was pretty angry because he was passionate about what's going on at school. And uh, a couple of years later, when we were looking at maybe a new board member, I realized I think Dave's the guy. He's that passionate. So I reached out to Dave and encouraged him to run, and, and he did. He served a wonderful term. And I want to say thank you, Dave, from our community, from our school district, and school board for the excellent work that Dave has done. Thank you, Scott. Much I've been a part of the Grand Fall um, community for many, many years. Um, through his work with the middle school, and then later on the community. And then on, on the school board. Um, my fun anecdote of Dr. Penagan is uh, well, I have a nickname that I call you. You know what it is? I call him Dr. Woodstock. <laughs> Dr. Penagan went to Woodstock. Uh, the best part of that story, uh, he told the story, and I, I was always impressed was his, his friend from college, Greg Ferron, came and he said, Hey, we're going to this music festival. Let's go. So he's like, Okay. We didn't know exactly what this Woodstock thing was, so we wanted to make sure he was all prepared. So we brought a blazer. 
at a certain time, just in case. However, Dr. Peng is the only person with Woodstock at a certain time and later. Uh, but he's been an incredible part of our community, an incredible member of the school board. And I want to thank you for all your uh, work you've done for us, and so does the, the community as well. Isla is from Jessica Severson's classroom. Mountain Way is so lucky to have Isla in kindergarten. Isla is helpful, kind, and positive, and everyone who meets her would agree. She is an independent person who loves to try her best at everything she does. She comes to school with a smile on her face and ready to learn every single day. Outside of school, Isla loves horses and being with her family. She has many passions already, and I know she's going to do such, an ama such amazing things throughout the school and onward. We're excited to have the chance to nominate her as such a wonderful student who is going to change the world. Give Isla a hand. Okay. Isla, come back. <laughs> Okay, our next student is the daughter of Nicoletta and Jeffrey Hayes, Liliana Hayes. Liliana is in Lindsay Grabner's classroom. Lily has been a rock star in first grade this year. She has helped create a friendly and positive environment in our classroom. Lily is a self-starter who loves to learn and read. In her free time, she likes to practice cheers at recess with her friends. Lily always makes sure everyone is included by inviting friends to play or playing with someone who is feeling sad. Lily comes to school with a smile on her face every day, and I'm so happy to nominate her for the success in education. Mountain Way and Granite Falls School District is so lucky to have her. I can't wait to see the changes that she makes in the world with her kind spirit. Okay, and my final one is the son of Amanda and Tim Eddy. George Eddy. So George is in Sarah Garlock's classroom. George is a very kind, thoughtful, and motivated student. He is a very good role model for his peers. 
George is always willing to help out other students when he has finished an assignment early. George enjoys engaging with his classmates and does so in a positive manner. George is a very social student who gets along with everyone. George knows the difference between right and wrong and is very honest. He always has a smile and is, in, and is friendly in the classroom. From Monte Cristo Elementary, Ms. Flynn. Good evening, everyone. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thank you for joining me today. We're so proud to be a minor. Our first student, third grader Ava Baggett from Miss Olson's class. Today. Okay. Ava likes to play on her Switch. Ava's favorite books are the Percy Jackson book series. She likes to read the sentences out loud as well as having her big sister read them out loud. She also likes to spend time with her big sister. That's really good. <laughs> Ava's favorite subject is writing. When Ava doesn't know the word, she will keep practicing how to spell them and learn the meaning of the word. Ava has really improved her math skills. Right now, she is learning multiplication and division. This is Ava's first year here at Monte Cristo Elementary. Ava likes how the teachers celebrate birthdays at school. Ava wants to work for the Navy. She wants to learn how to sail a boat. Her dad used to work for the Navy, but he was able to come home when she was a baby. Ava is a great all-around student. She knows her minor pride every day. Minor pride is being safe, kind, respectful, and responsible. Ava makes sure to be safe by always pushing in her chair and other students' chairs when they forget. She shows how kind she is when she volunteers to help a classmate figure out an answer or by helping a classmate look for a lost jacket or a water bottle. Ava is always respectful of others and herself. She waits to be called on and is patient when another student is trying to um, get help. She, know, she shows that she respects herself by keeping a growth mindset. Ava always has a positive outlook on her potential. potential. Lastly, Ava shows responsibility by turning in her assignments and keeping track of her AR goal. She also shows responsibility by apologizing if she does something wrong, even if it is an accident, and works hard to make it right. Ava is an outstanding example of what it means to have minor pride. Nicholas Casey, fourth grade. Ms. Pulliam. Hi, Nicholas. Congratulations. Come here. Thank you. Nicholas likes to watch TV or play on the computer with his friends. Nicholas plays outside and plays with his dog with his sister. That's also very good. <laughs> he likes to ride his bike down to the park. Nicholas just started jujitsu and get to go a few days a week. His favorite book series is the Winds of Fire series. PE is Nicholas's favorite subject because you get to really be active and play super fun <laughs> games. Nicholas has improved at math. It used to be pretty challenging for him, but now he can whip it out a problem just like that. Yes. A favorite memory from this year are the rainy days because you get to mix classes under the covered area and make new friends. One thing Nicholas wants to be is a construction worker or someone who works on houses. Nicholas Casey has been an excellent role model for his classmates. He models our minor pride pledge every day by being responsible, respectful, safe, and kind. 
We see Nicholas being a minor pride strong every day with both adults and students. Nicholas will be the first to help another student in need, tidy up our classroom, and to model excellent behavior. Nicholas also has an incredible, happy, and positive attitude every single day. Yes. His smile brightens our classroom. In addition to being an excellent role model, Nicholas is an exceptional academic student in both math and English language arts. His assignments show depth in his critical thinking skills and are always finished on time. We are very honored to be here with Nicholas today and his teacher is very honored to be his teacher for this school year. I know Nicholas will have a successful fourth grade year and will continue to set a positive example for not only his classmates, but also for all the students at Monte Cristo Elementary. Congratulations. Congratulations. Wait, which one? Oh. <laughs> okay, great. Congratulations. We have one more minor to honor. Fifth grader, Alexia Magnuson. Congratulations, Alexia. <laughs> Alexia really likes to dance. She goes to the Granite Falls School of Dance and takes ballet two, ballet three, acro two, and is on the competition team. Very impressive. <laughs> Alexa also likes to write stories. What favorite subject is in school for Alexa? Math, for sure. Because Alexia's brain just processes math differently and it is really fun. Her favorite book series is the I Survived book series. Alexia have improved at being able to remember what she read. One of the highlight, highlights from this school year is being able to spend time with her friends and not be on Zoom all year. Alexia wants to be a dancer or a mathematical engineer. Alexia's teacher, Mr. Moen, says that he is proud to nominate Alexia Magnuson for the Success in Education Award. Since school began, Alexia has demonstrated that she is dedicated, responsible, helpful, and friendly. She always strives to her best at her work, does a fantastic job in participating in class, and is a prolific writer. She has also found her to be super helpful and empathetic to her classmates. She is quick to jump to her feet and assist her peers on assignments, support others to clean up messes in the room, and helps the teacher with needed tasks. Thanks for your efforts, Alexia, and congratulations. From the middle school, Mr. Bean Jr. We have three outstanding candidates tonight. Um, I only see two of them. Um, Allison, come on up here. And the way that I do this, their their teachers write some wonderful things about them. And at the middle school, this is their first step into having multiple teachers and so um, she has six teachers and, and they all wrote one or two sentences um, about Allison and then um, I was able to kind of look up what Allison's name means and so this is for the parents and, and just see if it truly does mean or if she is the personality that her name means so first off the teachers she's a quiet student she's not shy she's a quiet leader She's respectful to staff and students. 
She always goes above and beyond to meet expectations. She's eager to volunteer and help out with anything that needs to be done. She is a perfect example of responsibility. She was one of the unfortunate students that had to quarantine, but that didn't stop her from keeping up on her schoolwork. She immediately emailed all her teachers to let them know, and she would be checking Canvas daily. Currently, she's earning all A's and B's because of her efforts. She loves to write fantasy stories. Her positive attitude helps steer classes in the right direction. Allison is truly a success in education. Yesterday, uh, just being new sixth grade, I didn't even know who Allison was. And so I walked into her gym class and she was sitting by a friend and I didn't know who she was. And I, who knows Allison? She was like, oh my gosh. And her eyes just got big as saucers. Like, oh no, I got to go to the principal's office. But that was the first time I got to chat with her. I tricked her a little bit because I, uh, ask her who her best friend was because I usually go to their friends to kind of get the true story of who the kids are but her friends just said wonderful things about her so her name mom dad means noble means exalted one strong sense of independence a desire to excel and lead likes balance and harmony but she also easily gets bored close yes <laughs> Let's give Allison a round of applause. One more treacherous thing to do. I am smiling. Good night. I don't think our seventh grade student is here, Ursula Gallagher. I did not see her, but we'll recognize her anyway. She is always ready to help in class, completes all assignments with great effort and accuracy. One of the most organized students the seventh grade team has ever seen. She takes her education seriously. She has a fantastic attitude and is always kind. She is talented. She is a talented artist who can be found sketching in her spare time. She is a snappy dresser, always showing off her passion flair. She always pays attention in class and is a big help to her teachers. Her smile lights up her room. Congratulations to Ursula for receiving the first quarter success in ed. She is definitely deserved it. Her name, a saint's name with great literacy background, often used in Shakespeare. It means little gentle bear. She's a born leader. She inspires confidence all around. You, she is a hard worker. She's strong, quiet, good at using her hands. Her dad is the CTP teacher at the high school. She's strong and dependable, and she tends to keep her herself. Let's give a round of applause. For her. And our eighth grade student, Mr. Steve Berlin. <laughs> As everyone knows, last year we were in quarantine online all the time, but um, I kept hearing this name, Steve Berlin. Steve Berlin is doing this, and I'm like, who is Steve Berlin? And then I got to know him just a little bit last year and getting to know him more and more. And every single one of his teachers um, says great things about him. Even last year when we were online, he made an impact on the school just by his attitude, his behavior. And so this is pretty awesome that he gets recognized this year for success in it. His teacher, always ready, oops, wrong one. He's always ready to help in class too. Incredible young man that understands the importance of investing in his own education. Always on time, respectful, willing to help others, and always asks thought-provoking questions to dig deeper into his learning. There are very few students who work as hard as Steve ever. He leads by example. He is dedicated, kind, intelligent, and a fantastic conversationalist. And he has great hair. <laughs> Outside of his academic successes, Steve manages a full schedule of cross country, hopefully a track as well, wrote for the school newsletter, and is an active in many school leadership activities. Congratulations, Steve. We are so proud of your efforts and all you have accomplished. 
Andy, that's great pick. <laughs> His name, the Royal Crown. He has a magnetic presence, a deep sense of emotion, persuasive, and is an energetic self-starter. Strong belief in relationships and teamwork, very creative, resilient. He's persistent with a project to create something of real meaning. Close. Congratulations, for Steve Perlin. And I, you know, actually from high school. Back to follow uh, smoke up the day here. So first uh, student here from the high school, and first of all, I had the opportunity to, to sit down and meet with each one of these students. And you know, every year, and I've been doing this for 27 years, I always say, how can this group of students that I had in a particular year, you know, be outdone by my next year going into school? And I can tell you that every one of these students that I sat down with were amazing. I mean, I could have sat and talked with them for an entire day just listening to what they've done you know for their community what they've done for their school what they've done for their family so these are uh, some outstanding uh, students so first is sam morrison is sam here all right so we'll talk a little bit about sam so uh sam he's a very involved senior with a 3.98 gpa and ranks sixth in his class mr bechtold stated Sam has played a huge part in the success we've had this year in football. He's one of the captains. He is led by example and has shown great leadership. He's also shown that same leadership and dedication in the classroom and is a huge part of a positive culture here at the high school. Ms. Hamilton stated, after having Sam as a sophomore and now as a senior in AP Lit, I can see tremendous growth in his respect for education and the pride he takes in his accomplishments in the classroom as well as his extracurricular activities. His contributions to our class discussions are greatly appreciated, as well as his willingness to help whenever needed. It is a true privilege to have him as a student. Finally, Mr. Williams said, Sam was one of my top students last year, which was a trying year for everybody. Even with the difficulties of district learning, Sam worked hard, maintained a great attitude, and got the most out of a challenging class. This year, Sam is my TA, he is a pleasure to work with because he is happy, confident, professional, and a self-starter. Sam is taking some challenging classes in his senior year. These include AP Literature and AP Calculus. He plans on getting a degree in computer engineering and is interested in attending the University of Washington. He has been very involved at Granite Falls High School. Sam has participated in football, basketball, and baseball all four years. Sam has attended school in Granite Falls K-12. Outside of school, he enjoys working out playing sports and hanging out with friends. Additionally, Sam is a member of Link Crew and will be involved with the food drive. Teachers that have uh, made a huge impact on him is Mr. Neeke, Mr. Bechtel. His best memories of Granite Falls High School are sports memories. Making it to the playoffs this year in football for the first time since 1990 is one of his most memorable, Sam Morrison. Next student is Alexa Merquin Garcia. Come on down. If you're here with uh, Alexa, can you just raise your hand as family and friends and yeah, good show on this? All right. So Alexa is a very involved 11th grader with a GPA of 3.808 and ranks 10th in her class. Ms. Newman stated, Alexa is a positive, is positive and kind. She's outgoing and helpful to her classmates. She's eager to learn and fun to be around. Alexa has a big brain and a big heart. Mr. Williams stated, she is academically gifted, but more importantly, she works hard and helps her classmates to do well. Even in a class above her grade level, Alexa stands out as a leader. Finally, Mr. Christensen stated, Alexa works and works to learn to acquire the skills we are learning in class. She takes her time to do things right and will work during her own time to finish things to her high standards. Alexa has taken some very challenging classes, including pre-calculus, AP language, Spanish three, and intro to chemistry. 
She's interested in attending a four-year university or community college and transition to a university to major in chemistry or business. Alexa has been very involved in school, including serving as treasurer at FBLA and assembly coordinator for the food drive. Outside of school, she loves to play the guitar, read, and spend time with family. Alexa is currently reading Invisible Life with Addie LaRue. I even listened to some of her favorite alternative music in my office, including the Arctic Monkeys and the Neighborhood. She has five brothers and one sister. And something people may not know about her is that she used to play the violin when she was younger, along with the ukulele. Alexa. Next, we have Christina Scott. <laughs> right. So Christina is an outstanding senior who has made her mark at Granite Falls. She is currently a Running Start student at uh, Everett Community College and taking English 101. She has a 3.66 GPA and ranks 19th in her class. Ms. Newman said Christina is positive and kind she is a talented artist and a hardworking student. She leads by quiet example. Mr. Christensen stated, Christina goes above and beyond the expected with every project. She puts in extra work with every project and it's the extra work and attention to detail that make her successful in everything that she does. Mr. Williams stated, Christina is so efficient and organized. It doesn't matter what task she is working on, she does her very best at it. She has a great attitude and she works hard. She's a gifted student and a pleasure to have in class. Christina listed uh, Ms. Newman, uh, her Spanish teacher, and Ms. Hartley, her counselor, as two mem uh, staff members who have positively impacted her. She has taken challenging classes while at Granite Falls High School. These include AP Calculus, Spanish 5, Physics, and Chemistry, just to name a few. Christina is involved at Granite Falls High School and National Honor Society, Knowledge Bowl, Link Crew, Food Drive, and Phi Theta Kappa at Everett Community College. Christina mentioned uh, a success story when she tutored a student in Monte Cristo in math while she was a freshman. Outside of school, Christina loves to draw and paint. She also enjoys sewing, baking, and gardening as well. She started working a few weeks ago at IGA in Grant Falls. In addition, Christina has volunteered at the Snow Owl Library. After school, Christina plans on going to college, hopefully University of Washington, to become an engineer. One thing unique about Christina uh, Christina, uh, that some people may not know, is that she also played the violin uh, in middle school orchestra in Kirkland. Christina Scott. Last one here is Alexa Mace. Lex is an amazing left grader who is maximizing her time at Granite Falls High School. She has a GPA of 3.95 and ranks fourth in her class. Ms. Newman mentioned, Alexa is such a positive, sweet girl. She's kind to those around her and you can see her smiling even with her mask on. She's hardworking and willing to participate. Mr. Dinwiddie said, Alexa is hardworking, intelligent, quiet, kind, and amazing. She works hard to not, not only on her classwork, she works to understand the entire concept or, or event from multiple perspectives. Mr. Williams stated, Alexa is one of those students who goes above and beyond with each assignment. She has added a strong drive to work hard and do well to her natural smarts. In addition, she is kind and helpful to other students. She participates well in class and she influences her peers for good. Alexa has a bright future. Alexa has taken very rigorous classes to include pre-calculus, chemistry, AP Psychology, AP Language, and Spanish 3. Many of her courses are dual college credits. Alexa has definitely combined her studies and school with her passions and interests. Alexa loves reading, especially books about psychology. She enjoys painting, singing, playing guitar, and skateboarding. One of her uh, own favorite art paintings was of a Roman statue that was inspired from him, her enjoyment of taking AP art history from Mr. Williams. 
Her passion of reading psychology books comes from taking an AP psychology from Mr. Dinwiddie. Alexa balances all this while working 20 hours per week at Playa Bonita restaurant as a hostess. She's also planning on playing tennis this year. After high school, Alexa hopes to go to school in Italy and study art and history at a university. She also wants to travel abroad. Alexa. Crossroads, we have this today. Okay, so Landon is not here. So, my first person who gets success in it, I'm going to just read his little paper just because it's kind of an honor to give him this award. Landon Skull. B. Yes, that is what I said. This is Corder's nominee for success in education. Landon entered Crossroads after he had some issues at high, at high school's freshman year. And by looking at his records, I'm sure Mr. B spent quite a bit of time with him in the middle school as well. Um, let's just say school wasn't really his top priority. Landon um, struggled a little bit at first when he got to Crossroads until he found out that this really was a good fit. He uh, and now has a four point straight A's. He's smart, friendly, hardworking, and fully engaged in all of his academics. Um, and actually makes a really positive contribution to our school. He shows up early every morning and helps with community service. Um, his, this is his Check and Connect teacher. Didn't say, I'll just give you the quote. He says, it will be really nice to see Landon's name carved with something that he didn't do himself. <laughs> so, <laughs> But this man, this young man is most deserving of this honor. He's a fabulous sense of humor and incredible work ethic, work ethic and a great attitude towards being at school. He's smart um, and he goes the extra mile to make to set a good example for his peers. He's polite and considerate. And he hasn't always been polite to considerate. So he's like, the, we've really seen growth with him. Um, he goes above, above and beyond to help his fellow students, and he's going to graduate from high school and go into the apprenticeship, plumber's apprenticeship. He wants to become a union plumber. So, good for him. The next person will be Miss Emma Lanigan. <laughs> I didn't write up the thing on her because <laughs> so Miss Emma um, ended came over to Crossroads as uh, halfway through her freshman year. It's really tough to go to a new school in a new town and have your dad be the, as the boss. <laughs> it's it's really kind of a rough place to be. So she came on, on over to Crossroads and immediately was one of our strongest leaders. She started. Um, started participating in Voices of Youth, ended up became, becoming our ASB vice president, is our second year serving on the board as our board representative. Um, Emma also works 20 hours a week at Playa Bonita and is taking a full load at Crossroads and a full load at Running Start. And that is because her goal right now is to graduate early. Dr. M will be receiving an email asking permission for early graduation from her any day now. Um, so like he could be expecting that. So her strong-willed stubbornness, um, this is what Mr. This Mr. Nelson, yes. <laughs> her strong-willed and stubbornness is going to be what gets her through on those crazy days when she becomes a teacher. She just needs to remember me. <laughs> so when she decides to focus on something, she obviously has is able to do it. Um, and Emma is really going to leave, she'll leave Crossroads a better place than it was when she found it. So I really appreciate everything she does.
have some staff we want to recognize, just a few awards. And um, our first presenter, we're going to call Ms. Skursky back up to present the first award to our classified staff. Thank you. Yeah, I know it doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Um, all right, so um, I am going to give an honor to our classified success and ed award. And it's not going just to one um, employee, it's going to two. And if I could get both of them to come down. Okay, <laughs> Suzanne Harris, Don Mudd. <laughs> <laughs> There's some history here. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to start out with you, and then I'm going to go to you, and then both of you at the okay. same time. Okay. <laughs> All right, so Don Munn started six years ago in our building as a building secretary. She is a shining light and a beacon of sweetness. And she deals with a very fast paced office in school. She is gentle, sweet, and cares about all the students very deeply. Some examples are her ability to be calm during parent conversations, follow up on student attendance, and she has organized her system for an effective parent pickup. Dawn has a smile for everyone. She has amazing school spirit and dresses up for all of our spirit days. <laughs> you always find her smiling and speaking kindly. She is embedded in our community and is perceived as a pillar of communication between families and schools. Okay, Susan. And make a great Elsa. I have more, I have more to say. I'm just gonna give you a little bit. Okay, so Suzanne, Suzanne Parrish is one of the most critical employees at Mountain Way Elementary. Suzanne is like a conductor managing and keeping track of so many things at her school. She works closely with the building administration on creating schedules, managing budget, creating and updating class lists, curing and managing substitutes to name a few. She also helps our staff with purchasing materials, locating teaching supplies, communicating upcoming events, learning and learning Mountain Way expectations and procedures and anything else that teachers are needing, she knows. She helps her parents with technology issues, answers phone calls and greets parents in a friendly way. And she provides positive customer service. She works closely with our transportation department to organize student transportation and to communicate changes when they occur. She also stays late each day in order to make sure all students have arrived safely home. Suzanne is very helpful to all parties at our school. She is able to multitask and never too busy to help a parent, staff, and or a student. Okay, so my next comment, these are from, this is from, I believe, one of our persons who submitted the form for both of you. And so it's kind of meant to go towards both of you and it's to our dynamic duo. <laughs> Susan Dawn. Susan Dawn are the dynamic duo of Mountain White Elementary. They greet everyone through the doors with a smile and offer their help, particularly to families with questions. Suzanne could be a member of the transportation team with her knowledge of the town and bus routes. <laughs> they greet students at the door as they enter the building with kind words and they remember students and their families from year to year. Most importantly, Suzanne and Dawn infuse our building with humor and laughter. Suzanne and Dawn have lived in Granite Falls for years and have a long history in the school district. They are aware of partnerships in the community from the past years and are able to offer suggestions when we are searching to work with local organizations. They know many people they can refer staff to when they need to reach out. They have worked with the local police or sheriff department when planning events on the school grounds, <laughs> local sports groups and guest speakers for assemblies. Suzanne and Dawn are proactive in their thinking about needs that might arise for families or staff as schedules and special events take place, and they even participate after school. They were both active in materials pickup and helped coordinate the smooth running of parades and kindergarten roundup. Susan and Dawn have become a title. <laughs> it's almost like JLo or Bedifer, <laughs> but it's Susan and Dawn, and they're our, our awesome dynamic duo. <laughs> Hmm. 
up and present the certified award. I'm also going to bring out Mr. Maynard out front. So he's a new assistant principal at Brown Falls High School. So, uh, so our nomination uh, was uh, Miss Stephanie Restet Schwartz. So if you can come forward. I nominated uh, Stephanie for many reasons. Uh, first and foremost, she was the first teacher uh, Mr. May and I sat down with and met when we arrived at Granite Falls High School. She was so passionate and invested in the school, staff, and students. Uh, but even before all this, and when I was still in Florida, I participated in a Zoom interview for an open ELA position. Stephanie stood out on the interview as one of the interviewers in the ELA department head. I knew then that I had a teacher that was caring, kind, knowledgeable, and a leader. My first sit down, get down to business discussion with Stephanie was about the master's class. She was very organized, attention to detail person who wanted to create a fair, consistent, manageable, and meaningful system in class for students to recover certain core classes uh, during last year's mostly remote learning. I've had the opportunity to be in Stephanie's mastery class for ELA and can see the organization and well facilitated delivery of instruction. She has built an amazing rapport with her students that has created a very positive learning environment. She has been uh, very evident. This has been also very evident in her regular ELA classes. Stephanie teaches freshman English and AP language. The level of student engagement, positive culture and climate, and routine are exactly what you want to see in every class at Grant Falls High School. This definitely extends from how well she leads her PLCs. Her attention to detail and high expectations has made her PLC live in the stage of performing. I really appreciated Stephanie's willingness to share with me the temperature of the staff. Having this insight helps me navigate the marathon of the school year and the important task of taking care of all of our staff. Finally, Stephanie is the advisor for GSA. Her desire to make sure every student feels accepted at school is evident in her relationship with every student in the club. I see her with the club members after school in the comments and can attest to her caring. Stephanie is very deserving of this recognition of being the recipient of the Success in Education Employee Award. She has been at Granite Falls High School for 20 plus years and has positively impacted thousands of students. Stephanie. one final award tonight to a staff member and it's the superintendent's award that i give out each quarter and it's called the mucker award and so if you are a hockey fan or in my case i grew up playing hockey and still love hockey a mucker is that player who will do anything in a game to help their team they'll check they'll be checked they sacrifice their body they get the puck to where it needs to go and so they're just there all around, do whatever it takes for the team. Typically, I give out two or three uh, at this event, but tonight I just have one to give out. So I'm going to have Brittany Lundberg come down to it. The last 20 months have changed our lives. None of us have experienced the pandemic before. There was no training on what to do or how to do it. And while many of us have been involved in the day-to-day -day decisions to attempt to mirror a pre-COVID type of school and keep safety, and safety is always our top priority. It's been Brittany Lumberg who's been leading our COVID protocols and, and just leading our as our district nurse. Brittany is a true mucker. She has done whatever it, it has taken to keep our students and staff safe, informed, keep our families informed, and our students in school. She's also had to make tough decisions and oftentimes have some very tough conversations, all in an environment of change. Change that doesn't come from this body, but comes from the state or local or district um, health district. 
please, um, I, I can't thank Brittany enough for her leadership during a very, very tough time. Again, keeping all of us safe and informed. And so again, Brittany, thank you for your leadership as our district nurse during a very, very tough time and for all that you've done for our, our school district. So Brittany Lundberg, our mother. And at this time, uh, we're going to take a 15 minute break. Um, during that break, we would love to take pictures with the recipient and uh, the plaque right over here. There's also treats provided for those who are interested. Um, after that 15 minute break, we will rejoin the meeting uh, or restart, restart the meeting um, right here. So, uh, thank you all. Thank you for coming tonight. Congratulations. To all of us. All right, so we're going to go and get started again. So I'll call the meeting back to order. All right, on to item 2E, board comments. We'll start with Dr. Penegas. Thank you. I'm going to, there's no microphone, so maybe I'll stay here, although I'd like to get uh, close. But anyway, um, my, my report, is really a thank you. I figure this is the last shot. I really want to thank some people and I won't get into a lot of detail, but I've asked a few people to stay into this section uh, because it means a lot. Um, I have done more in my career than go to Woodstock, but I won't elaborate on that. Um, the, uh, Actually, I'm really old and I've done this education thing for a long time. I've actually 19 years teaching. This isn't all consecutive uh, in order. I've gone back and forth with folks. 19 years uh, teaching and 22 years in administration. And this was uh, Illinois, Arizona, and here in Washington and different districts all the way through. But uh, the, the main thing, the, the joy of this whole thing is the people. And that's why it's been tough on me with the Zoom and the not, you know, not being able to look at people and talk. So I wanna thank two people on what's happened currently. Because, and these people could tell you, I went kicking, uh, uh, screaming into the Zoom land. I, it really was tough on me over and over. And getting, uh, and it was just tough. I was grouchy and I uh, live up in the hills a little bit and couldn't get connection. And these people were so great. Uh, they've been great on, for any kind of help I need. And they both happen to be here right now, Dan Scholar and Melanie Freeman have bailed me out over and over. Uh, and uh, they're just great people and they work so hard. We're so lucky to have them here, uh, Dan especially. And this was before Zoom. I was bugging, <laughs> bugging Dan about computers, but we both like sports so we, talk a little bit about sports before I left, <laughs> but thank you, you both, you, you've just been fantastic. Um, the people that I've asked a few people to stay, I talked to um, Karen Manns before about uh, with the teaching and learning, but the people that, uh, there's so many, I'm not gonna be able to, elaborate on all of it. But we came here in 96, a long while back, and not very many people were here when we got here, but Bridget was one of them. She's been here. She's younger than me, but boy, she got a, a, a young star. Uh, and she's 
Well, she's a friend. She's a friend of the family and uh, been through a lot of things. But uh, the, uh, and Dave, I asked him to stay. He had a commute back. Uh, and we've talked about each other at meetings uh, through through the years, but uh, it means a lot. And means a lot to see the success of his career and how, how it's gone. Uh, we worked together for, I don't know, 12 years, maybe not. Uh, no, because it overlapped. Maybe uh, six or seven years, I don't know. But we were both at the middle school, and then he's had it uh, since I retired. But uh, and we're friends. Uh, but he's really done an amazing job. And when I left the middle school, I was really a lucky, favored guy. I had all kinds of help, and they've gone on to have careers in administration. But Dave's had to do a lot of it on his own. He's got great help now, but it's just not the same. Uh, but uh, beyond that, no matter what happens, we're friends and I think we've helped each other. Uh, so that's, you know, just an example of what, what it's meant to me to have these people and the new people, I, some I don't know for nearly as long, but I still believe in face-to-face -face and people and caring about people. And I'm not saying this has, what happens now has diminished that. Uh, it's gonna come back, but it's been so tough. And people think board members don't make a difference. And that's not as individual board members, but the six years I've been here, and some, most of you, um, uh, Robert, uh, Carl, they've been here longer than that. But you don't think board members make a difference. Look back on these last few years and uh, what, what is different here. It's not just the new superintendent, but a lot of things. And, but the, my admiration goes to people that stick through the toughest times. And these, these really are the toughest times. And I taught history when I was teaching this time from 2019 to through 2021 uh, is going to go down as a real, real deal as far as cutting into the human element of it. And uh, a lot of people have gone way above and beyond. And uh, I think. Uh, uh, it, uh, it shows by the people that we have here and the good things that are happening. And me, I'm a big worry ward. And uh, I just, uh, I shouldn't be worrying that much because good people have come here. And uh, Josh is, Dr. M has uh, done some amazing hiring along with staff, board support. So I just want to thank everybody for doing all these positive things and especially the board members. Carl's not here, but Carl's, here. Carl's there. Hi, Carl. Oh. <laughs> hello, hello. I can't even, is that it? Oh, hi, Carl. Hi, Carl. Uh, and we've been through a lot too. Uh, okay. I won't ramble anymore. I just am feel very privileged to have been a part of the school board and the best years of my life have been the last ones as an administrator and also uh, as a board member and the friends and, that I've made. I, so I have a lot to be thankful for. And my health is still pretty much there, but my short-term memory is not as good. But the main thing I have uh, to be thankful for, and I'm so glad she came here tonight. I didn't make her, you know, but she said, no, I think I should go, I'll go. 
Uh, and, and she's a legend in special ed, but you'll be a legend. But I'm just saying, and she's president of the community coalition. I'm so lucky. Uh, she's a love of my life, my best friend. And what better way to end than that? So thank you all. Say something? No. <laughs> How can I follow that? I love you, Dr. P. You're the absolute best. You represent the best of us, my friend. Thank you, Carl. Again. All right. Um, Same to you. So, in my defense, I wrote down everyone's names in order beforehand. So, Dave, you were next. Am yeah, I? You are. <laughs> Any comments, uh, Director Green? Well, I don't say much, and I wasn't planning on saying much tonight, but. I just uh, thank you all for the opportunity. Um, I had no idea that Robert would rope me into this, so I blame it on him. <laughs> I appreciate it and all that you guys have done for the school. Thank you. Oh, I did. <laughs> Shouldn't have done that. Um, Director V. So it's an interesting thing that you bring up that Robert Butler roped you into this thing because years ago I sat at Dave's kitchen table and we got talking and he said, you know, you should join the school board. You should run for school board. And years passed and time passed and um, I decided to take him up for, on that, and I'm not sorry I did. It's been a pleasure to serve with both of you. Our board, I think, has been, I mean, we're, in, we're definitely individuals, but together we work well, even with our individual um, things that we champion. We work together well as a board, we, you know, and I'm including Carl. Carl, you're there somewhere. Um, and I appreciated working with you. I've appreciated learning from you. With Dave, I've served on the CTE committee even longer than being on the board. That's something that both he and I have been passionate about for as far as I can remember, as far as I first knew what CTE was. So I've appreciated serving with you and I hope that you'll still support us and, and serve with us in different capacities as your time allows, even though you won't be sitting in that chair every first and third Wednesday. So Dr. P, we love and appreciate you for an entire career of service to our community. And like you mentioned, um, your wife, Carol's service to our community. And I know because it's the people you are, you will continue to serve and you'll continue to be here. Even if you're not in that chair every first and third Wednesday, I know that you'll continue to be here. So thank you to both of you. Um, other than just gratitude for, for the board members that we have, but also like to um, acknowledge and welcome, you know, that there will be new board members and I look forward to working with them as well as cohesively and, and as we have in the past, right? To continue to do the best that we can do for the students and staff at Granite Falls. Uh, Carl, did you want to make an official board comment or just what you said before? Yeah, I has the I, I literally just wanted to be here because I, I wanted to support Dr. P and, and Dave on on and just cheer them for a, an unbelievable service to the to the board and the district. Has the board already voted to not have me here? Because I, I, I'm literally just wanted to be a participant. If so, uh, yeah, we did. I just thought for Dave and uh, uh, for Dr. Fernandez to give you a chance. Okay, got it. Um, I'll just quickly say, Dave, I. I I can't tell you, you I, I think you have the impression that because you don't say much that that you aren't as impactful, but the, the times that you have spoken up and the things I know that you're passionate about and all the conversations behind, you've been, um, I, I think, an, an absolute 
wonderful addition to the board. I've absolutely loved having you on it the last four years. Uh, I've always appreciated your input. Um, I still think that you should write a book for probably one of the best dads in the world. I mean, geez Louise, look at the, the quality of kids you've been able to produce, my friend, you, you and your wonderful wife. And I just, I'm, I'm going to miss you, um, but I, I'm just so honored that I've been able to spend this last four years with you. For has it been more than four, no, four years. Thank you. All right, uh, let's go to our student represent representatives, uh, Maya from the high school. At the high school, we just got done with conferences and state testing, so it was a stressful week, but everybody did really well going through that. And um, this Friday, we actually have our last home football game, so that should be interesting. Thank you. Any questions for, for Maya regarding the high school? All right, Emma from Crossroads. Crossroads. Last week we had an absolutely spectacular art house. It was so cool. I enjoyed it. Um, it was just for the students and staff, but um, it, they did a great job for the entire class. Absolutely amazing. Um, our quarter ended this week. Uh, we had conferences, and I'd also just like to say, you know, just wonderful jobs working on the board, you guys. I remember like two years ago when Josh and I came to for him to get sworn in on the board and I was supposed to like take a picture or something and I just randomly wasn't there but it's so weird how time like how much time has passed it's just like yesterday. Thank you so much. So for my board comments um I wanted to acknowledge and uh, congratulate okay I wrote everyone's name down Isla Lily George Ava Nicholas Alexia Allison Ursula Steve Sam Alexa Christina Alexa Landon, Emma, um, is it is it Sue Don? Is that what we're calling it? Or Don Sue? Because they're, they're 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 like one one name. Um, Sue and Don, uh, Stephanie and Brittany. Um, I love Success in Education Night, and I think it was a wonderful chance to um, just uh, honor those who are are, are making a better um, place of the world. So I want to thank them. Um, I also wanted to uh, acknowledge the elections. Um, I I love our democracy, and I love when people get out and vote and. Uh, it just makes me happy to know that we are having two board members re retire from the board, but the, the, the community is in the process of choosing two people to take their place to, to step up and serve this community. Um, I look forward to working to, uh, with, with the new board members. Um, as soon as the uh, election is certified, we'll get ready to greet them and uh, invite them in and start working. So I look forward to that. Uh, and I do also want to uh, echo the statements of, I think everyone in the room of, how thankful I am to work, I've had the opportunity to work with Dr. Penegas. Um, I remember when we interviewed him to actually join the board, it was one of those times where it was an easy choice. Um, he's been a strong member of the community who brought so much to the table that uh, it was easy for us. And he, he, he lived up to what we hoped to get when we chose to be on the board. And I wanna thank you for that, Dr. Penegas. And Director Green, um, my fault, I'm sorry, but I do it again. Um, what you brought to the board is is what I mentioned earlier is that that passion um, that makes you a great director. So I'm I'm excited to say that I served with you for four years. Um, those are my board comments. So moving on, uh, item three, district reports. We have none this evening. So we're going to move on to item four, items from the floor. Understand, uh, Melanie, that no one signed up for items from the floor. Uh, unfinished business, we have none, and new business, we have none. We have a consent agenda. And there were additions to that consent agenda. So is there any discussion about the consent agenda and the additions? If not, I'm willing to entertain a motion to accept the consent agenda with the additions. I'd like to make a motion that we accept the consent agenda with the additions. Motion's been made. Would someone like to make the final second? I would like to make my final second. We have a second for Dr. Fernandez. Um, all in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Thank you so much. I will call. I will adjourn this meeting now at uh, seven twenty-nine. Thank you.